I'm going to talk briefly about taping to compensate for your injury or taping to prevent injury. First, let's go over a little bit of forearm anatomy. All of the tendons that flex our fingers start at the fingertips and go all the way up into the inside of your elbow. They're held down by a number of pulleys along the way. One of the pulleys is called a retinaculum around your wrist. Other pulleys are here in your fingers. The pulleys themselves act as a friction spot that can produce tendonitis, which is why tendonitis often happens in the wrist and at the A2 pulley here in the crease. So one purpose of taping is to diffuse the force of those pulleys out over a greater area so as to minimize the friction and reduce the likelihood of developing either a tendon injury or tendonitis. So first off, there aren't a lot of studies that actually prove that taping prevents injury. For the most part, the studies have been done on ankles because people commonly tape ankle sprains. And the theory is that the tape somehow provides both mechanical support for the tendons and ligaments, but it also provides what's called proprioceptive feedback, or feedback about the position sense of the joint that enables your brain to prevent injury by reacting to stresses on the joint quicker. Um, there's different schools of thought about taping fingers. The first is that you can tape in isolated bands on each one of the phalanxes, they're called. Basically like a wedding ring. You would put it around the phalanx. Don't make it too tight, that's the classic blunder. If it's too tight, take it off and start all over again because your fingers are going to swell under load. So that's about this, as simple as it gets, is the simple circumferential taping. Circumferential taping is used for injuries like pulley injuries or tendonitis. And again, the concept is that it's spreading the friction out over a broader area and providing supports to the tendons as they come under load. The, the fingers are not supposed to be weight-bearing, right? If you think about it, they're not designed to do that. And so it's highly abnormal what we're doing as rock climbers. And so the tape is helping to compensate for the, the unusual stresses that are generated over the, uh, the fingers, particularly in the crimp, crimp grip, which magnifies the stress greatly at the A2 pulley. So the other way to tape is a basic figure of eight wrap. When you do that, you start on the proximal or closest part of the finger, and then just like wrapping an ankle or elsewhere, you make a figure eight, which you then bring back down. So if you look at it, it's one continuous band, almost like an infinity sign, that goes around the finger. And, and this flexes a little bit more naturally. It also provides some, uh, some protection from injury from abrasion to this area, which is commonly abraded on sharp stones, such as here in the buttermilks. Another common spot to tape would be wrists, as again, a, the wrist is a friction spot where people develop tendonitis. And in this case, again, the classic blunder is to make the tape too tight. Now remember, we're not talking about taping for crack climbing. This is exclusively topic, talking about taping to prevent injury. And so a circumferential wrap of tape, and even better would be a little bit wider tape to really try and spread that diffusion out as you're using the wrist and as the tendons are coming in to under load. So last but not least, one other area where you might benefit from taping is for the classic climber's tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, referred to as lateral or medial epicondylitis. That's an inflammation more uh, upstream of the fingers where the tendons come back and attach, attach in the elbow and it's a very, very common climbing overuse injury. And you'll see people at the crags that have a band basically around the base of the forearm and the purpose of that is again to diffuse the area, the force of the attachment out over a greater area. Generally this is done with broader tape than I have here. And they actually make aftermarket braces called counterforce braces that can be Velcroed into place to provide similar support. Uh, again, the purpose of this is to either compensate for existing tennis elbow or golf, golfer's elbow or to prevent it from occurring in the first place. So that was taping in a nutshell. Please stay tuned for more injury prevention lectures here on climbingtechtips.com.